Hello and welcome to Louise Singleton Creations. Today's video is a response to a request from the lovely people at Elichem Resins who sell Aquacast. They've been getting a lot of questions from customers asking if you can get a lovely marble effect with Aquacast and the answer is yes. Today I'm going to show you how to easily create a beautiful marbled effect using Aquacast. This is suitable for beginners because it is super easy. I've also got some very exciting news for my viewers in the USA, so stay tuned to find out what that is and enjoy the video. To demonstrate my marble effect, I'm going to be making some coasters and a coaster stand. To start with, I decided to add a diagonal line of Gold Fusion Crushed Glass from Laura's Art Corner. I really love this because it forms such a good barrier. It stays in position, it's nice and heavy and it separates the two um, layers of Aquacast which I'm going to do. So it's just a case of scooping it out carefully with a wooden stick and putting it into position and clearing up any stray bits that fall into the wrong place as you go along. You don't need to make it too deep, just enough to form one solid thin line. It took a little bit of time and patience but I'm really glad that I took my time to make it nice and neat and got there in the end and it really did make a big difference to the finished coasters. And these moulds that you can see here are both from Moulds and Shapes as are a lot of the moulds which you might see me using because Moulds and Shapes are absolutely amazing, such good quality. So what I just did was completely optional. If you want, you can just do your marbling effect completely filling up the whole coaster. Now I thought I'd worked out the volume of both my moulds really well by filling them with water and then using the online calculator on the Elichem website. However, I think I went wrong somewhere <laughs> and I ended up making too much. So I'm not going to bother telling you how much I used of each thing because there's no point there was too much. But basically what I did was I added the water to my jug first and then the correct ratio of the Aquacast powder into the water and gave it a really good mix. Once it was all thoroughly mixed up, I just added the plain white Aquacast to one side of each one, each cavity, the, you know, the coasters and the coaster stand, just on one side and just teased it to the edges, made sure it was completely full. Do be careful at this stage not to overfill it. You don't want it going over your gold dividing line. Okay, I've slowed down to normal speed now because now we're going to make our marble effect. And the pigment I'm using for my Aquacast is Jesmonite pigment. I find it works really well for creating the marble effect. You, it wouldn't quite work the same if you used any kind of powder. I suppose you could use um, a little bit of acrylic paint. But yeah, I do prefer the jesmonite pigment and I use the tiniest bit. As you can see, I just put some on a coffee stirrer and I did a few little spots and just gave it a very, very gentle stir around. You don't want to mix it up completely because you'll just end up with a solid grey colour. And we don't want a solid colour, do we? We just want a little bit. So as you can see, I'm just giving it a little tease around with my stirring stick. And then once I'd finished doing that, I added a touch more black just on the top to add some more darker lines in there. And then it was ready to pour. And so just in the same way as before, very gently and very slowly and carefully, I just poured it in. I kind of just went from left to right 
until it was all reached until it had all reached up to the gold line on all of the coasters and yeah quite straightforward really like i said at the beginning it's one of the most simple methods to do with such beautiful results and so yeah the thing is with jet with aquacast or you know any of these casting compounds whatever hits the mold is going to stay on the base of the mold on the right side when you demold them so if i went over that white now it probably wouldn't matter because the white has already touched the base of the mold and the what i'm adding now won't reach through so do you get what i mean because <laughs> i am going to fill these up in a minute so that they go right up to the top of the mould and what will happen is the marbled um, aquacast will go over the white but you'll see when I demould them that it doesn't matter because that white had already touched the surface and that's what you will get in the end. You will see what I mean in a few minutes. Right, I've sped it up again now because it's just a case of doing the same thing on the other one and I need to fill up all those little legs for my coaster stand and there's a lot of banging and shaking and that's to get rid of any trapped air pockets or any little micro bubbles which are in the aqua cast and it'll bring them to the top and you'll have a nice smooth finish when you take these out of the mold and as you can see I went a little bit deep there on the legs and so I just scraped it with the side of my lollipop stick and it leveled it out and you can see there how the marbled aquacast is going over the white don't worry about it you'll see soon it doesn't matter so that's it then you need to leave it secure for about oh i think i did it for about two hours but one hour would have probably been enough and here what you can see me doing is just using some other molds this is just a little pot with a lid just to use up the rest of my aqua cast because like i said before i mixed up way too much but I never waste anything. I always find something to use to use up the last little bits. Okay then, it's time to take them out of the moulds. Always the most exciting part. Let's have a look. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And that gold has worked really well too. Um, I've sped it up a little bit because there is so much to show you. But I think you'll still get, a, you know, you'll get the gist of it. <laughs> it's looking good so far though. I'm really pleased with the marble effect. Let's have a look at one of the coasters. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Just It's a gentle sparkle that you get with the gold. It's not overpowering. So, yeah, we'll leave the links of the gold glass glitter in the, you know, in the oh, video description. So, yeah, they're really nice. And while I'm demolding everything, let me tell you the exciting news. Up until now, Aquacast has only been available from Elichem through the European website and the UK website. But now they've introduced an American website. So you guys over in the States can also buy it now. And I think that's amazing because so many of you have been saying, oh, I wish I could get it in America. Well, now you can. Elichem has opened up a brand new website for the American viewers. I will put a link to the website in the video description along with my discount code. And here are the little pendants that I made with my leftover aquacast. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing with those yet. Maybe you can give me an idea. I mean, the obvious thing is necklaces, but maybe something else. Maybe key rings. I'm not sure. Maybe I could paint on them. Yeah, anyway, I'm sure I'll find a use for them. And they turned out really pretty as well. Whenever you pour something with a casting compound, the side which you poured from, so the back side, is going to be rough and a little bit lumpy. So what I like to do is use some wet dry sandpaper, pour some water on and just rub the backs of all the pieces on there and it really smooths them out really really nicely then all you have to do is rinse them out in a bucket of water and they're as good as new Thank you. 
So I left them to dry out for a day. I think it was a day. It's best to leave it two days, really. And then it was time to seal them. Now, there's different ways of using the sealer on aquacast or any other casting compound some people use a paintbrush or a sponge or a cloth but today i was wanted to try out something that i'd had an idea for which was to use some tights <laughs> so i got an old pair of tights cut the foot off and put it over my hand and i just wanted to see if that would work because you know there's not much fiber there and what I wanted was to, the problem is, you see, with paint brushes, you get brush strokes and you can see them. And other things also can leave marks. And I thought because a pair of nylon tights is so fine, it might be less likely to leave marks. And actually it worked really well. I tried it in two different ways by applying the um, spray hydroflow sealer directly to the coaster i tried it that way and i also tried just putting it on my hand and it didn't really make much difference you can do it either way but it did seem to give a really smooth finish and when they're dried you'll i'll give you a better look to see how they turned out but i couldn't see any marks on there from applying the sealer once everything was sealed and dried out it was just time to add the legs to my coaster stand and for that I'm using E6000 plus glue. One tip is always seal your pieces before adding glue. I have found that it, things just don't stick together if you don't seal them first. So what I'm doing is applying the glue with a little wooden stick to all the areas which will come into contact with the other part. So it, that's probably the only way I can describe that. <laughs> but as you can see, you can see where I'm adding it. And then just slotting them into the base from, through the back. And I had to pop it onto a little pot to elevate it in the end. And that worked a lot better. And then, yeah, just did the same thing with each leg and left it for a couple of hours to dry. Okay then, so they're all finished, let's have a closer look. So I just wanted to show you how you don't see any streaks from where I applied the sealer with the tights on my hand. And so that looks really good. And that gold just gives a little bit of a glam effect, <laughs> a little bit of sparkle without it overpowering the whole piece. And yeah, I really do like it. So let's have another look and I've got some photographs so you can get another look in that way. It's sometimes hard to capture the beauty of these things um, and photographs sometimes do it better. So here's a few photographs. What do you think? Do you like them? I love the marble effects and of course if you want it to be more pronounced you can add more colour or if you want it to be more subtle you can add less colour. It's all up to you. I hope you found this video useful and inspiring and don't forget all the links to everything I've used are in the description. If you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up that helps me a lot and if you haven't already subscribed and you would like to don't forget to do that now and click on the bell for the notifications and I will see you again next week. Thank you for watching and bye for now.